Hi, I'm Matt Fortune. And I'm Ethan Becker. And we're here reporting on Open Campus. Right now we're on Main Street in front of Palmer House. And we went out and we asked teachers and students what they think about the proposal to close Open Campus for next year. And here's what we got. Um, so Mr. Cohen, what do you think about the closing of Open Campus? Well, uh, I have a definite opinion on the, on the subject. Uh, I think the campus should be closed. What? What? <laughs> Why do you think Open Campus should be closed? Um, well, I think I have a, a viewpoint from being a uh, ninth grade teacher. Being a ninth grade teacher, uh, ninth grade officially doesn't have open campus, but they do have open campus, as does tenth grade. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? They don't go to study halls. They, you know, there's no repercussions for not going to study halls. I mean, they might as well just be on open campus. But what happens is a lot of ninth graders can't handle that responsibility. They get lost. They get lost in the woodwork. Um, you know, I have some. Uh, science kids, curriculum to science kids that are just, you know, have completely fallen through the woodwork, you know, haven't been able to handle the op open campus situation. I think it's kind of ridiculous because, I mean, I'm 17 years old and I think I can deal with a few free blocks and I, f I kind of find it offensive that, you know, the faculty, or maybe not the faculty, whoever's in, you know, into this closing campus deal thinks that I would be so mature that I couldn't deal with just a little extra time to do what I need to do. And I mean, if someone can't deal with open campus, then take it away from that individual. But, you know, I don't think that everyone should be punished for someone else's actions. It's, it's ridiculous. Do you have any freeze? Yeah, I have a lot. What do you do, do during this freeze? I work. Where do you work? Richardson Electric in Waltham. I usually go out. I go to McDonald's or I uh, go to Newton South and see some friends. I usually go to the library or the commons, go to Newtonville, hang out. I have, a, I have one study hall, but I try to get out any time I can because it's a real waste of time. You can't really get work done, and it's just, it's bad. It's, it's wasteful. I usually uh, go outside and, and sit in the sun or hang around in the library or something. Do you go to all your study halls? Uh, yeah, most of them. Sometimes I go to the library, though, or like see a teacher or something like that. So if, how do you feel about them closing open campus next year? It's really stupid because there's nothing to do in study hall because the teachers just yell at you if you speak, so you can't ask for help or something, and you just have to sit there. Do you feel that you can get work done easily in study halls? No, because despite the teacher, everybody screams and yells. <laughs> so you think that it's basically the teachers that aren't doing their job as it is now, keeping control? Yeah, they just kind of sit there and yell. It just doesn't really work. So what do you think about the closing of open campus next year? I think that it is a very childish thing to do. They're treating, the teachers and the faculty are treating us like immature um, young children. I think it's been like this for so long, and I feel that the faculty seem not to trust the students about open campus. And next year, I'll be a senior, so therefore, I think that I should have the privilege of having open campus. Hey, when I was a freshman, I never went to study halls. But it's, they never enforced study halls or anything, so why are they going to try to do it now? What do you do during your freeze now, Spencer? I usually go to the library. Schools are boring, and most of the time you don't have anything to do, and it's like a prison. You come to school to get away from the pressures of outside. You don't want to be, like, you know, closed up in here. Soon enough they started I heard some whispering by the door And soon enough they started Two drunk eyes fighting on the floor They didn't say many words They had familiar faces It didn't seem like the first I recognized their faces Then the people cleared the floor And in their heads to sides the bartender pulled himself a drink and said, Man, it gets fattier on weekend nights. 